Bam, what's doing guys? Back with another fresh final review. Today we're going to be looking at the KOC 40 centimeter Godzilla 1964 sculpted and put out by Akira Ibaraki. This model kit is made out of resin, came out April 2020, just right around the start of the pandemic. Went up for pre-orders, I want to say late winter 2019 or early winter 2019, January 2020, give or take. But it, uh, I had some assistance getting this ordered from Japan. In the short story here, I had it sent to David Eric Dopko who painted it. So a little history before I start going into the awesomeness of this kit. Um, I'm not a kit builder, nor am I a painter, okay? I I knew when I saw this, I was like, I gotta have it. It's a 64 also, it's it's resin. It's a it's forty centimeters. It's it's you know on the larger side of obviously what I collect X plus, but obviously it's not X plus. But I was like, I want it. I you know I gotta get somebody to build it for me or paint it for me. And there was no other person, you know, no better person than David, uh, because he is passionate about the sixty four just as much as I am. Um, and I, I knew going into it, if he agreed to it, which he did that this would be a special piece. So, the other beautiful part, and I'm going to go right into it, is that, uh, it's a yes, it's a model. It doesn't even require any glue. It comes with this instruction little pamphlet here. I didn't even realize it came with this until I opened up the little uh, plastic folder here. But, it, you know, it gives you a rundown of everything that comes with the kit from the two heads, jaws, hands, tail, dorsal plates, um, everything you need to put it together. What's beautiful about it, and people, I have it here. If you saw my unboxing, I'm not looking to mess around. I move my hands around because I'm around because I'm a crazy Italian. I don't want to, God forbid, hit it, knock it off, or drop the head on my toe again because that's not fresh. Um, but it made it real simple to put this together. Um, it's like model kit for idiots. Like you can't not put it together. I'll just show you right quick here. So if you look at the hand, just take the hand off. Boom! It's everything is already pre-pinned. You know, the hands are pre-pinned, the tail's pre-pinned. <clears throat> um, so, it, it, all you got to do is really just plop it in. And it's that simple. Um, for the kit builders, obviously, you guys can putty up those seams. They're barely noticeable as is right out of the box and put together. The dorsal plate goes on in one piece. Tail goes on with a nice, you know, big flat resin um, plug, per se. That's also pinned. Uh, but the, the, the majority of the, of the sculpt, the, the model, it's all put together already. So it's just like playing with Legos, putting it together. It comes with two heads, two jaws. One can be closed mouth. One could be partially opened. I prefer closed mouth. It's the way to go. And it was really that simple. It came in a big-ass heavy box. Obviously, that's what you want. It's a resin kit. Um, it was, uh, what? It had plenty of protective, you know, cushioning, styrofoam, and everything in there. So, so mind you, this ship... From Japan to David in Seattle and then to me out here in Massachusetts. Flawless. Beautiful. Other than me dropping a head on my toe like a dingus. Speaking of the heads, what's awesome about the heads, it has magnets installed in the neck and in the, well, you know, on the, the neck of the head, on both of them, and in the neck of the base of the figure. Kit. Can I remember? This is a model kit. Um, and then even with the jaws, the jaws come out because you could swap them out. These have magnets in them too, right in there and right in here. So all you got to do is just plop that in, plop that out. However, whatever you want to do, it's beautiful. Um, if you were lucky enough to obtain this model kit, it's it's gorgeous. Uh, if you had watched my most previous episode, no, did we say it on a fresh final? It was on Leslie Chambers Kaiju reviews uh, live stream. We were doing a sixty-four topic, and you know the question came up: is what is the favorite sixty-four? Um, and obviously the 64 is my favorite Godzilla, favorite suit, Mothra vs. Godzilla is my favorite Godzilla movie, followed by Ghidra the Three-Headed Monster, so it's a 64 double tap, um, and instantly, it, we were doing Leslie's live stream, and I said during that, you know, when it was my turn to answer the question, it was what was my favorite 64 in the collection, it hit me like 30 minutes before, because it was really a heavy question, and this is it, this take, took the top spot of the X plus 30 centimeter Rick 64, which is amazing and in all its own merits. Um, you know, from the two autographs that I have on it, the blue dorsal plates and just that's a closed mouth. But this became my favorite Godzilla 64. And in also it became, it's my favorite piece in my entire Godzilla collection, hands down. Um, so 
what, what else can I say about it? Did I mention that uh, Akira Ibaraki, he did, he sculpted this 64. He worked on the 30 centimeter X plus Megalon. And I, I want to say there's probably others he did for X plus as well. But th this is just gorgeous, people. Um, what I can tell you, cost-wise, my mind's bouncing around. Um, I want to say this was like probably, I think, $320, $340, give or take, um, before shipping from Japan to America. Um, you know, so do the math. You know, and then obviously if there's a, if there's a commission fee, and yes, I did pay to have this painted and everything, and I did I paid for everything, you know, to get it from Japan to David, painted, built, whatever you want to call it, and to my door. So it becomes pretty costly, you know, obviously if you're commissioning somebody to paint it for you. And, and, and like I said earlier, I could not paint this and do it justice for what, you know, as, as important as the 64 is for me. Um, So it, it's just, there's so many great things. I'm stuttering because it's like, I, I don't even know where to start with this thing. Um, Now that I'm looking at it, one thing if you could notice is that it doesn't need a tail stand. This thing has been engineered that it stands balanced perfectly as it is without a tail stand. And mind you, the tail goes in on one separate piece. So you put that in and everything balances nicely. I could even take the tail out and it will still stand, but I'm not doing that. Not right now. It, I don't need to. Just trust me. Okay, good. Um, the detail. Resin captures a level of detail that vinyl does not. It is crisper. It is deep. It is just just much more grooves and think, you know, maybe the X plus 30 centimeter was HD. This is 4K, okay? This is like a 4K restoration uh, because of how crisp the scales are and everything. Like the tree barkness on his skin, it is so crisp. Also, as I just moved it, this model kit weighs a whopping 12 pounds. It's heavy. For a few people that have picked it up already, Leslie Chambers, Jessica Etchells, uh, David, obviously you have one and anybody else that was fortunate enough to get one it's heavy he's weighs 12 pounds i weighed it look at my look at the scale boom 12 pounds um so and as i mentioned earlier you want to be careful how you're holding him also i like to try to put you know put one hand near his tail and his butt section and one on the chest the one i'm lifting in obviously now i know if i le you lean him too forward gravity's going to do its job and the head's going to fall off we saw that in my unboxing so you want to be very careful with it when you're lifting it um Again, like I said, it goes together very easy. It is such it was such a joy to get it right out of the boxing and packaging and just put it together like bam, here it goes. It's beautiful. But overall, like honestly, like I knew I it was going to be amazing because having watched the post on Twitter, Facebook from Akira Ibaraki, you know, when he was building this and putting it together more or less, sculpting it, it was like, "Wow, this thing is just beautiful." I was like, "It's a must have." But put that on top, or put David's work, you know, to top it off, painting it, it is fabulous. You know, from the, just the, the level of detail that he painted into this is like this highlights on his kneecaps, on his chest, um, like a, dry, a beautiful dry brushing. He's not super dirty, like he just didn't, he did not just come out of the, um, you know, the sand, um, you know, from the beach in the beginning of the film. Um, but there are beautiful highlights, the nails, the toenails, you know, the fingernails. Dorsal plates, all beautifully done. A lot of nice, you know, fading and whatnot into, you know, from the dorsal plates to the center of the dorsal plates. Meet right up with the skin and everything for that charcoal dark gray color. Um, the eyes. Now, David had mentioned that there are the plastic clear lenses, so he had to paint the eyes, then put and glue the lenses on. That's what gives the suit and the, well, the, that's what gave the suit, as which the, uh, the, the kit here that um that le plastic lens glazed over look that both heads capture here you know light hits and just penetrates it just a little bit um and it's beautiful and he did an amazing job again i would it would have probably looked like i hit the eyes with white out or something if i tried to do it would have been a mess hot hot mess um but I, I i love it david did an amazing job job definitely certified fresh his level of painting is on par with the level of sculpting that Akira Ibaraki has done here, okay? That is not an overstatement. That is a fact because this thing looks like it, it is the suit. It is perfect. Hence why it is my favorite 64 and my favorite 
collectible in the collection. That's and that's a heavy, that's pro, that's a heavy toll. As I told David, uh, you know, you know, like this is has his hand on it now, and that's why it's special to me. Okay, um, I like the bagginess also. Mind you, he Akira Ibaraki did sculpt the bagginess of the suit on the arms. You you know, it's got like you know the suit was curling. There's one section on the legs over here. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's pretty, pretty stiff for a suit. And it was, I mean, it's not like the rubber suits that Nakajima was moving around in these movies was super light. Yeah, he was able to be mobile and move around in it, but they were still heavy suits. Um, the seams, like I mentioned, if you know, there's, you can't really see the seams on, uh, you know, where the pieces go together. So that's not a big deal. You know, so again, like I said, it came with a little pamphlet to tell you what it all comes with. Came with this cool photo of the kit that Akira Baraki he built up and painted himself. And, like, I, I just, I don't know. Did I cover everything? I love the closed mouth on this. <clears throat> I, I have the open mouth, you know, or partially open mouth here. That's how it gets displayed. Again, even this, even the base that it comes with has a magnet in it, okay? And they just secure it nicely there. So... That, that's uh, that's my review. Everything is pristine on this kit. It is gorgeous. I love the closed mouth. I just said that like 37 seconds ago. Those fangs are just peeking out. The jowls are just beautifully sculpted, painted. Um, again, I don't want to touch it, but I love this thing. It's gorgeous. It was well worth every penny I spent on it. It was worth, you know, having it go from Japan to Seattle to Massachusetts. It is stunning. If you didn't get one and you want one, you're SOL. Unless you find somebody that is selling one. Then congratulate yourself for being patient. Because you can't order this anymore. Um, it was, you know, sold out relatively quick, I want to say. So no messing around. No messing around. I'm going to move them a little bit. Because I don't know if I covered everything. Yeah, I covered everything. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Certified fresh. David Dopko. Thank you, sir. Seriously, you've done a... Knock, it's a knock out of the park, grand slam, boom. Gold medal status here. And that's all I got. Um, I think that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got. So, 10 out of 10, certified fresh. I'm losing my voice here, I've been talking too much. I cover everything, I caught that bit. Da, da, da. All right, I'm going to stop rambling. Got questions, hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on the book faces and whatever. And I'll see you on my next Fresh Vinyl Review. Resin Fresh. Bam. See you guys. Bam.